Coach Obviously, there's a lot to unpack with that game, but their 17-0 run, uh, I'm sorry, their 17-0 run when Xavier was out, just what did you feel were the biggest keys that led to that? And kind of what were your counter punches that you guys were trying to trying to do at that time? Well, you know, when X picks up fouls early, that hurts us. I mean, right now we're shorthanded, you know, not having Jalen, another ball handler in the game. But, you know, that wasn't, a, that, I don't think that that was the difference. We got down early, but I thought we fought. You know, I can't fault effort. I thought we gave great effort, but you got to give a lot of credit to this team. This, this team is, Arizona team is a good team. They are. And we was challenged tonight. Um, I got to do a better job of getting us in, in position, man. But I thought the, the game was won in the paint, and they were the better team tonight in the paint. Todd, on your left. Mike, uh, what's the most challenging thing? I mean, they scored 42 points. Arizona scored 42 points in the paint, but they also shot 40, or I'm sorry, they shot, yeah, 40% for three point range. Uh, what's the biggest challenge that your defense has to deal with that, you know, that their offense makes it tough to do? Well, again, guys, our defense has been pretty good this year. It's the first game the team has gotten away like that. And in terms of shooting threes and pounding it inside and playing well inside. So, um, you know, we're not going to change a whole lot. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, they made some shots. They're a good team. Um, it's the first time we've given up this many points. Um, and we just can't make that a habit. You know, we got to be better in that area. You know, our goal is to try to hold teams to 60 and under. We've been pretty good in that area this season. But tonight we let this one get away. Tom and then Brad in the back. Mike, uh, with the seven footer, six eleven guy on the other side there, that's a, a whole lot of size uh, to deal with. In regards to what your uh, scouting report was for and your game plan was for, how much of that uh, got away from you at all today, or was it just a, a, just a matter of them not executing you guys inside? No, I, I mean, again, we knew their starting five occupied the minutes. You know, they play up pretty much all the minutes. They go six to seven guys, but the starting five, pretty much plays the minutes. And their bigs are dominant bigs. I mean, they're good. There's a reason why they're averaging 19 and 20 a game between the two of them. And so we had to battle that. And I thought they got the better of our bigs tonight. I just do. I mean, we, we didn't have any answer for them. And, you know, I don't want to get where we have to beg for help and start doubling a lot. You know, if you go back and look at the tape and, you know, Maybe I'll think differently, you know, the next time if we get an opportunity to play them. But, uh, you know, we since I've been here, we haven't done a whole lot of double in the post. But we haven't played a lot of teams that had two big guys like that that were dominant. Right, Brad in the back on your left. Coach, down 19 in the first half. Your guys made a run and then down double digits again, second half to get it to one possession. What did you see kind of out of those runs that really put a charge with these guys? Well, again, I mean, we, we, we've, we've always fought. And I thought our fight tonight was pretty good. Uh, you know, I mean, plays here and there. And I'm not blaming the officials. I thought that was a goal team that really when we started to, to get the momentum a little bit back, um, it looked like goal team to me. And it went from seven, where we could have cut it to five, I think five or three, to 12. And, you know, against a team like this, you know, a good team like this, that's, that's a big enough cushion for them to kind of coast and bring it on home. But they played well. I mean, I can't take anything away from them. They well coached and played a great game. Tyler back left. Which I know Trace has dealt with a lot of double and triple teams so far this season, but it seemed like Arizona was able to limit him not only in scoring, but also in just facilitating for other guys to where um, he couldn't really get passes off effectively, I guess. And what are some ways that you can combat that in trying to get him in better uh, places and, and to try to just help the offense in general? Well, guys, we scored, what, 75 points? That's plenty of points in college basketball, you know. But you can't give up 80-some points and expect to win. I mean, that's, that's where the game is won, I think. I think we scored enough points. I thought early on we missed a lot of good shots early. And then we finally started to find some offense and started making shots. When you make shots, it cures a lot of problems. But tonight we didn't make them early. All right, Mike, front right. But that's what I was going to ask you about. Did you make adjustments offensively? It seemed like early on you guys were struggling with turnovers. Um, but the once the offense got clicking, you had four and double figures and made a bunch of shots. 
Well, again, I mean, the ball started to move. We started running a little more pick and roll to try to open the floor up a little bit where we were trying to post it early to kind of combat, you know, their bigs and play inside with them. But, you know, I mean, that's, again, their bigs are unique. They are, you know, I mean, they, they average the points that they do because it's hard to double them when you got guys on the perimeter that can make threes as well, and they still make threes. Right, coach, curious about Jordan Geronimo. It didn't look like he played much, if at all, in the second half. Is that an injury issue, or is that just a coach's decision? That's Coach Woodson's decision. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you.